Hi everybody, I'm here with Karen. We're going to learn a bit about her and what she does. So, when did we meet? We met at a psychic fair. Yeah. How long ago was that? I have no idea. It was a few years now, yeah, huh? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah. I just saw as well and Karen graciously gave me a reading while there was no people around. And nice. yeah. Peel Manor. Peel, Peel Manor. Manor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So who is Karen? Okay. Um, I'm Tara Reader and um, my mother's job is a nurse and um, I'm humanitarian, um, psychic intuitive, animal lover. A lot of people know me as Grace because um, very few years ago I, I was a burlesque dancer for a while and I had the name Grace Divine. So when the tarot started to take off, I turned that around and it became Divine Grace. Um, so I'm still known as Grace, uh, which is fine. And uh, I'm, um, yeah, I, I really enjoy it and that's what I do. I'm also an author, um, an artist. I went to art college before, long before, in another life, before I did any nursing. Um, and uh, I'm designing my own cards and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So where'd your passion for tarot come from? That's been so long now. Um, probably passion in my early teens when I was given my first deck by somebody who's very special who um, who uh, passed away shortly after she gave me the cards when I was about 11 years old. Wow. Yeah, it was, um, I was having tea in my grandmother's house and a very elderly lady. And I'd never seen anyone quite so ancient before in my life <laughs> came in through the door and I kind of knew it was fine and the grandmother didn't even bat an eyelid and gave her um, a cup of tea. And I realized this could only be my, grandmother's oldest sister who must have been nearly a hundred then wow um, yeah and it was my birthday and she came over to me I hardly ever met her before I don't think I've ever met her before and she gave me these cards and she said happy birthday and I had no idea what they were but I did know my manners so I said thank you very much and took them and put them in a drawer and forgot about them until I was about 14 and then I got them out and um, got a book from the library I've always been a big reader. I still love books. And uh, I basically I started to teach myself tarot. Wow. Yeah. Of course yourself. Yeah. I'm a little bit distracted. We've got a blind yeah. spaniel running around. Old dog. <laughs> she's nearly 15 and she's, she's blind and deaf. And sadly we lost her brother two years ago. And I think of him as my little soulmate with her. And he's gone now. So I've got this little blind sister of his still here with us. She's capable enough. Yeah, she's pretty <laughs> willful, but uh, she's still pretty special in her own way. So you continue with your tarot because you're in the, uh, what's the group called that you're with? The Tarot Guild? Yeah, oh yeah. Um, yeah, I was really lucky. I was really quite honoured. I became a professional member of both the British and the Australian uh, Tarot Guilds. So that's really lovely. It's anyone with an interest, a sort of serious interest, I suppose, in tarot can join the guild and um, you just apply and you go through their little process. There's usually a little um, exam process and an essay to write. So you've got to prove that you know uh, um, the meanings of the cards and have some in-depth intuition with the cards and you do some readings for some really quite uh, um, professional and very clever members, uh, their president, their vice president, so forth. So that's not- No pressure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no pressure. Um, but they were really lovely. They were really lovely. And I did that. Um, and yeah, I was lucky enough to get accepted. So I'm really pleased about that. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's great news. Yeah, I was really pleased. And what does tarot reading do for people? What does it give them? Um, for me, it gave me a lot of confidence and joy. Um, for other people, I hope it gives them direction. For me, I think it's about clarity. It's about 
um, offering them some clearer vision really so that they can make some informed choices about where they're going to go in their life, what it is mm. they want to do, um, what might be best to do. Um, I've, got a, I've always had huge respect for the tarot process and the, uh, the uh, information it, it brings up and um, what it, the information it offers people. It's really about vision and insight for people into their own lives. Um, yeah, I, I don't confirmation. Think that confirmation yeah. and why well, I, I don't read for people that are not in front of me. Um, partly because I don't get that sort of intuition and I don't I don't have that kind of energy. I don't have the energy with me. And also I think it you know for me I don't I just don't feel comfortable reading for someone who doesn't know they're being read about. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, but um, People will ask, you know, about relationship and, you know, perhaps if something's happened within family dynamics or something like that. And we can usually, you know, work through that and and get some good answers for them and show them hopefully how to deal with it and which way to go. People certainly do love tarot readings, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's always interesting what comes up. It's always really amazing. And you said you've got your own cards now. That's exciting. Yeah, I've got lots of cards. I like to buy artist cards because I like to support them and they're usually great quality. Um, people on Etsy and um, local sellers and I thought I would design some cards. I did a diploma with a group called the Centre of Excellence and part of it was to design a card. Any card, just pick a card, type, tear a card and I'm lucky enough to know a printer. So that was my Ace of Pentacles. So I drew the Garden Tarot. And then I d developed, with Chester's passing, I put a few little spaniels into my <laughs> majors, but I don't have the majors yet in, in print. Um, so it really turned into a, um, a, a set for perhaps younger people that love you know, animals, animal lovers, also gardeners. Um, so yeah, those are my four aces. So that was pentacles. Um, this is wands. It's kind of a, a yucca with the red, the fire color. And this is cups. This is a tulip, which just seemed to lend itself to the right shape for cups. Yes, it does. It's yeah. beautiful. And the last one is air with swords. Thank you. No worries. Love it. Thank it's you. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you. The, I'm love, really lucky in that I've got um, someone that can help me produce these and print them for me. They've got quite a nice back to them and the card stock's really beautiful as well. So I was really pleased. Did it bling? It turned out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Thank you. So where can people find you if they want a reading or some of your books or your cards? Yeah, um, books. My book's on Amazon, The Mirage Tree. I wrote a, a novel and I'm writing more. Um, I do have an author page and a tarot page on Facebook. I seem to use Facebook as my, here's Grace. My <laughs> trying to get up. <laughs> cheeky little soulmate and <laughs> partner in crime. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm on Facebook. Um, I'm Karen Grace on Facebook. Um, I'll tag I've, you in this and they can find you. Yeah, yeah. I've got a website and um, you can find me really um, anywhere. I live in Dawesville. I do readings pretty much daily now on Messenger for people, um, email. Um, yeah. And she's at the Expo on Sunday. I'm at the Expo on Sunday. So you'll come yeah. and meet her if you like. Yeah. At Rockingham and the Gary Holland Centre. Yeah. All day. You. That'd be lovely. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me yeah, too. Great. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you. Bye, everyone. <laughs>